Christine started her private clutter clearing journey in September 2020 and completed it in March 2023. This means she's cleared all her clutter and created the habit she needs to stay clutter free forever. Christine completely cleared 11 rooms and areas of her home that have been cluttered for 27 years. Her email inbox is now below 100 read and unread emails. 79% of the clutter she categorized and sorted came off her clutter conveyor belt. She donated over 56 black sacks of things to her local charity shop. 15 trees were planted in her name with the paperwork reward challenge because she shredded over 75 black sacks of paperwork clutter. Christine has rediscovered her hobby of water color painting and now she has the space to do it she has turned her conservatory into a painting studio with the weekly shopping challenge christine started saving over 80 pounds or 95 dollars a week by the end of step one which covered the cost of her monthly private journey membership as a direct result of her doing her weekly paperwork clutter clearing sessions by the end of step two christine had cancelled four monthly payments and one annual payment on her bank account that she didn't know were being taken and which saved her a full further £425 or $510 a month. So that was one club membership, five magazine subscriptions, one pet insurance for a pet that was put down but that had never been cancelled, one health insurance covered by another health insurance. Christine has set up a savings account for each of her grandchildren. Christine took longer to complete step one on her journey than she took to complete step seven. By the end of her journey, Christine had saved uh, enough money with the weekly shopping challenge and paperwork sessions to have her house redecorated and a new boiler so that she could put it on the market and downsize. Christine was able to invite her son and grandchildren to come and stay for Easter as it was a as a result of clearing all her clutter and having bedrooms that they could stay in. Christine is now selling her home so that she can move closer to her son and grandchildren. She can now sell her home for the full market value and can financially help her son buy a bigger property. Christine started a private journey in October 2020. And as Christine explains, I decided to start my journey when it became clear that the pandemic wasn't over and that there were going to be more lockdowns. The first lockdown had been miserable for me, stuck in my house with the clutter. I saw families on the TV who were struggling to cope in small flats. And I felt guilty that I had a large four bedroom house all to myself and was struggling. I would have happily swapped with some of the families I saw on the TV who needed a house the size of mine to live more comfortably during the lockdowns. Yet I was struggling to live comfortably on my own. So I decided to do something about it. I'd followed Claire for over 10 years, but never stuck to anything. I'd done various clutter clearing programs which had made a difference, but I didn't get into a routine of doing the doing on my own. And because I didn't have the accountability to do the doing, as soon as the program finished, I gave up. I admit that I procrastinated at trying again because I felt like a failure. But when I saw the seven step journey, I realized that I that it would give me the ongoing help, support and accountability I needed to make sure I got into a routine of doing the doing. I'm terrible for saying I'll do something. And even when I know it works, left to my own devices, I don't make the time. My inner child is so rebellious and attention seeking. I'm 74 and I was still letting my inner child let, get its way. It was very annoying when I realized the secret of my success was simply having the accountability to do the doing. I couldn't and wouldn't have done this if I, had, if I didn't have my weekly sessions with Claire. She calls it the teacher effect and it's so true. If I didn't have my weekly goals to work towards, I wouldn't make the time. As much as my inner child tries to sabotage me, I suppose my inner child is also afraid of having to tell Claire that I haven't succeeded with my goals. Maybe my inner child isn't all bad. I think the time I finally believed that I would clear all my clutter forever was when I started clearing my second room, my lounge, because by that point I cleared my hallway and kitchen and they were staying clear of clutter. It wasn't growing back. In the past, I'd never actually cleared a whole room or area. I'd done a bit here, a bit there. I got bored and impatient, so flitted instead of focusing on finishing anything. So this was a major breakthrough. I realise now that a lot of my impatience was because succeeding is actually extremely uncomfortable when you don't believe you'll be able to keep areas clutter free and when you're actually scared of having space. Of course, you learn how to deal with those things when you're on your journey, and that's why it's so important to do it at a pace that's comfortable for you. Clearing my study was the most emotional room to clear because it had all my late husband's papers and notes and things. 
I imagined, it, I imagined him there with me as I went through silly little things he'd scribbled. It felt like he was there cheering me on, telling me it was OK to let go. I am so glad I've done this. I just wish I'd done it sooner. If you want to clear your clutter forever, make sure you get the help and support you need to succeed. If you want to successfully clear all your clutter like Christine, click on the link with this video and start your seven step journey to your clutter free life.